Uh, hello viewers welcome to my channel uh, today's topic is rabies you know uh, but before starting this topic i would like to request you to like subscribe and share these videos to support this channel and if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and the link is just below this video in the description area you know so you can visit that link uh, you can click that link to visit the website you know and uh, there is a, a subscribe button as well just below this video so don't forget to subscribe this channel by clicking that button and uh, now i come to the topic what is rabies you know you know uh, the rabies uh, the word probably brings to mind an uh, like uh, android animal four thing at the mouth you know and uh, an encounter with an infected animal animal can result uh, in a painful and uh, life-threatening condition you know and uh, you know there are millions of the cases uh, reported uh, every year in worldwide you know and the 99 percent of them have been bitten by the rabbit dogs you know uh, but the availability of the vaccines for both animals and the humans uh, has uh, uh, led to a steep decline in the rabies cases you know worldwide you mean especially in the first word, you know, and uh, uh, it has uh, uh, decreased the number of deaths dramatically, you know. And the rabies is caused by the virus that affects the central nervous system and especially causing the inflammation in the brain, you know. And the domestic dogs, cats, rabbits, wild animals such as uh, bats or maybe uh, chunks or maybe raccoons, you know, they are able to transfer the virus to the humans uh, via the bites and the scratches. And uh, the key to fighting the virus is the quick response, you know. And uh, the next thing is what are the symptoms? Well, the period between the bite and the onset of the symptoms is called incubation period, you know. And it usually takes about, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, 12, 4 to 12 weeks, you know. For a person to develop the rabies symptoms once they are infected you know and the incubation periods can also range from few days to maybe six years you know and uh, the initial onset of the rabies begins with the flu like symptoms which may include like a fever or maybe muscle weakness and tingling you know and you may also feel burning at the site of the bite you know and uh, as the virus continues to attack the central nervous system, there are two different types of the disease that can develop. The number one is furious uh, rabies and the uh, paralytic uh, uh, rabies, you know. Now, in case of the furious rabies, the infected people who develop this type will uh, uh, hyperactive way and uh, they will act uh, and they are like uh, excitable and they may display the erratic behavior, you know. And the symptoms may include like uh, uh, sleeplessness or maybe the stress or anxiety or confusion. It will be agitation, you know, hallucination and the excessive production of the saliva in the mouth, you know. And he will have the problem in swallowing the food. And hydrophobia, which means that uh, the fear from the water, you know, fear of water, you know. And in case of the paralytic rabies, uh, it takes longer to set in, but it affects uh, 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 it acts as uh, affects uh, as uh, severe as the furious one, you know, and the infected people slowly become paralyzed and eventually they slip into coma and uh, eventually die, you know. And uh, <clears throat> according to the statistics exploited by the World Health Organization or WHO, the 30% cases are paralytic ones, you know, and 70% are uh, like furious uh, rabies. Now, the next thing is. Uh, the transmission you know you know the animals with the rabies transfer the virus to other animals and the two people via the saliva following by the bite or maybe the scratch you know and any contact with the mucous membranes or uh, an open wound can also spread the virus you know and the transmission of this virus is considered to be exclusively from animal to animal and animal to human you know okay and uh, the human-to-human -human transmission of virus is extremely rare, but there is possibility. And there have been a handful of cases reported uh, 
uh, following the like the transplantation of corneas, you know. And for the humans who uh, contract the rabies, a bite from an unvaccinated dog is by far the most common uh, culprit, you know. And once a person has been bitten, the virus spreads through their nerves to brain. And it's important to note that the bites and the scratches on the head and the neck are thought to speed up uh, the brain and the spinal cord involvement because uh, of their location and they're close to brain you know so in case uh, where the bite is on the neck or close to the head you know uh, you should uh, uh, respond or reach the medical facility as soon as possible you know it's very important you know and uh, uh, after the bite the rabies virus spreads by the way of the nerve cells to the brain you know and once the brain uh, uh, the virus reaches the brain, you know, the virus multiplies more rapidly and uh, this uh, activity causes the severe inflammation of the brain and the spinal cord after which the, uh, the person deteriorates rapidly and uh, dies, you know. And uh, uh, the animals like the dogs and the bats and the cats and the goats and horses and rabbits you know, so they, and the monkeys, you know, uh, and other wild animals, they are responsible for spreading this virus, you know. And the most uh, uh, people, uh, you know, the risk group, you know, uh, for an ordinary person is low, you know, but uh, the people who are working, living in the, like, forests or living in the, uh, traveling to developing countries and living in the rural areas, you know, and uh, exposed to the animals, or, uh, they are more likely to get these kind of the bites, you know. And uh, the other thing is the children uh, uh, under the age of 15, you know, so they are most common uh, people who are, are more likely, you know, uh, to get this virus. And, uh, uh, you know, there is no test to diagnose the early stages of the infection. And uh, after the onset of the symptoms, the blood test will, uh, like the blood of the tissue test, you know, it will help the doctor determine whether you have the disease, you know. And if you have been uh, bitten by the wild animal, the doctors will typically uh, administer, you know, uh, a preventive shot of the rabies vaccine to stop the infection before the symptoms uh, start, you know. And uh, after being exposed to the rabies virus, you can have a series of uh, injections to prevent the infection from setting in. And the rabies uh, immunoglobulin, which gives you an immediate dose of the rabies antibodies uh, to fight the infection, it helps to prevent the virus from getting uh, 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 like foothold, you know, and getting the rabies vaccine is the key to avoiding the disease. And the rabies vaccine is given in a series of five shots over the 14 days, you know. And the animal control will probably try to catch the the animal, you know, which has bitten you, and to test for the rabies, you know. And uh, if uh, uh, it's not possible to catch that animal, you know, uh, you uh, then uh, and. Uh, uh, then your doctor will uh, treat it as suspected case, you know, and he will give you the vaccine and the shots, you know. And getting the rabies vaccine is, as soon as possible is very important and it's best way to prevent. And uh, there are certain side effects of the, uh, like, uh, rabies treatment, like uh, headaches or maybe swelling and pain and the muscle aches and dizziness, you know. Uh, but it is worth having then. Uh, uh, there are more benefits than the side effects, you know. And uh, the rabies is preventable disease. Uh, you can take certain steps to uh, decrease the risk, like uh, get the rabies vaccine, uh, vaccinate your pets, uh, stay away from the wild animals, and uh, uh, report the stray animals to the animal control unit, and avoid the contact with animals and uh, bats, etc. So this way you can, it can be prevented. Thank you very much for watching this video. Goodbye.